18 three quarters. Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to make a napkin journal. I am using a manila file folder, and essentially I'm using the other portion that was left over from my techniques journal a week or so ago. And uh, let's see, the inside signature measures 11 by five and a half so that when you fold your sheet of paper in half, it's five and a half by five and a half. And uh, I'm not gonna give you exact measurements on this, even though you're gonna see me score it. Um, it's roughly scored at two and three quarters, then eight and a half, then at 10. Then I shifted over, you know, to that natural folded folder and score at four and a quarter and then again at six and three quarters. I'm going to make pockets and that is scored at, what is it scored at? Six and a quarter. And I ease the little uh, corners out. Y'all going to see me sort of measure that out. Oh, I'm still scoring. Oh, I'm still scoring. I'm sorry. This is, you know, it's it's measurements. Okay, y'all? Jean, Jean, don't look at me like that. Come on. Don't look at me like that. It's ruler work. I'm an eyeballer. Okay? So I'm using the ruler for a straight edge. I'm not measuring anything. It's just a straight edge. And I'm kind of angling that up so that uh, when I fold my pockets over and everything folds up, uh, it doesn't get into a bind. And you, are, uh, you y'all, are about to see me uh, cut off those portions there. And I actually ended up putting a uh, several scores on both front and back flaps, the one that folds over on the inside and the one that wraps around the outside. Uh, that's to ease in fullness later on once I start adding my napkins uh, onto the pages. I expect the book to get fluffier. I like napkins. I do seem to collect them and they're so pretty. Some of them are just so stinking pretty. Um, let's see, now we're going to stick a napkin on the outside because what fun is a napkin journal if it's not covered in a napkin, right? <laughs> so uh, most napkins, not all, come uh, with double well, they're like triple layered. You have your pretty printed part and then you have a two inner white parts and you want to peel off those inner parts. In this case, I've already trimmed off the um, all, well, three edges of the little square part because I'm going to kind of try to center that on the center of uh, my front cover. I have a little mark there. I don't think you can see it, but it's there. I'm using Golden Map Medium to adhere my napkin down with. And uh, some napkins are more delicate than others. This was a pretty good napkin. So be sure to put uh, your matte medium on the outside. I did cover the front and back. I used those strips of the cutoff squares uh, on the... Um, Gosh, what is that thing called? The edge where you bind it at? The bound edge. I'm going to use a pamphlet stitch and again I'm going to link to Barb Owen who explains it beautifully how to do the pamphlet stitch. And uh, yep, my closure is the little button doohickey which I'm going to link to that video, that uh, process video I have that shows uh, way more but a detail than this one. It's just kind of a quick run through. And I am setting my little button closure uh, before I sew my signatures in. Because I wanted to. Because I could. Because it's my journal. And I'm the bossy pants of my journal. And uh, yeah, I'm still doing that. I know, it's just, <sighs> la, 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 oh, be 
Musical, musical, musical interlude. It's just a musical interlude for you, for me, for just we. <laughs> That's a centering ruler. I'm actually not measuring anything. I'm just lining up those little tick marks on the ruler. So I kind of got that over here and kind of got that over there. I also put a reinforcement uh, strip along the uh, bound edge on the inside. I used a piece of the uh, leftover folder from somewhere and glued it in there. Glued it it. And it measured approximately more or less an inch and a half by six and three or six and one quarter inches. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna show y'all <laughs> me actually making journals anymore because I just had such a terrible time with these measurements. I'm yeah, I'm not gonna lie about it. But it just goes to show you, you don't have to be a ruler whiz to make a journal. Okay. You can just keep eyeballing here and there. And uh, this I'm using instead of a book cradle, because I don't have a book cradle. But that's my template to poke my holes for my uh, signature. I was just marking a T for the top of the uh, page. So, because, yeah, because I, I don't measure exact, and it's just going to be close enough. And, uh, yeah. Just saying. Oh, I drew drew uh, lines on my center. Ed I don't know why I can't think of the name of that. You know, the edge that you sew at, the bound edge. I know it's got a name. Oh, Lord, bless my heart. Bless my little heart in a southern kind of way. <sighs> Oh, see, I'm trying to line it up. It's not lining up. I did something not right. I didn't say I did it wrong. I just did something not right. I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to realign my little circles there where I'm going to poke the hose in the uh, bound edge of the journal. I'm going to have to get up and walk over here and let the puppies in because they're outside and they're scratching on the door. Y'all just continue watching. Uh, don't mind me over here at the door. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I just I just don't know what I, I say. Now they're all happy because they hadn't seen me in ten minutes, and just they're just beside themselves with excitement. So okay, everybody's good. Settle down, bless you. So uh, now I got my my little spots where I want to poke my hose. And I'm using my pokey tool, and I'm poking both uh, inside and outside. That way I get a, a pretty good, the hole doesn't like clog up. And I didn't like the line, so I painted over it with some gesso, and then I went over that with black acrylic craft paint. And I've also gone all around the uh, edge with the uh, black acrylic craft paint. I'm using my finger there, as you can see. And now I'm going to use some black thread because I really don't want y'all to see what I'm doing. <sighs> I really did want y'all to see what I was doing, but sometimes people, <laughs> I, I just don't know. Y'all ever have one of them days, weeks, moments, projects? Uh, this is the pinch pinch the thread together. It's crochet cotton thread. Cotton crochet thread, however you want to say it. And uh, if you hold your thread around the eye of the needle and you pinch your fingers, your thumb and index finger, and you pull it off of the eye of the needle really quick and you pinch really hard all at the same time, it will uh, pretty much go through that eye of the needle. It does take practice. Don't think you're going to get it the first time. Well, it could happen. Anything could happen. So, um, yeah, pamphlet stitch. Barb Owen, excellent uh, video on how to do that. And uh, I am leaving my strings on the outside. I don't know if I will do anything with them, but they're there. I'm very happy with this journal. It makes me extremely happy. I really like looking at it. I really like patting it. 
and uh, I, I don't have any napkins in it yet, but I have uh, my napkin box at the ready. Uh, when I title the outside of this with a, a little Dymo um, label maker thingy, I put volume one because I'm pretty sure it's not going to hold all my all my napkins one of each. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, my signatures are what, like three three pages each, and I have six of them, so I have a few pages. And uh, yeah, just keep sewing them signatures on there. Is this where I? Oh, I slowed down a little bit, so. <laughs> I can show you that painting thing. Look, get in the camera. Okay, and you have it wrapped around the eye of the needle. Get back in the camera. There's the loop. Okay, get in there. Okay. And wrap it around. Thumb and index finger. Pretty tight there. And pull it. And squeezing it all at the same time. And and then you kind of work it through the little eye. Practice. It does take practice. So here we go. Back on the ball. And this is some washi tape. Now that I have uh, a couple signatures stuck in there, I'm just going to uh, washi tape. Oh, maybe it's just one. Whatever. I'm just going to washi tape my tails out of the way and continue on. And ta-da! Like magic, they're all sewn in, and I'm going to. They're all. I trimmed them already to sort of the same length, mostly, sort of, kinda. And I'm just going to wrap them around a little piece of leftover cardstock from somewhere, and then I'm going to wrap that in the washi tape, and that will keep my threads and tails all out of the way. And I was showing you how to pocket. Now I'm flipping through the empty pages. Then there's plenty of room for growth in there. Growth, not a growth. And I added extra score marks, uh, again, like I said at the beginning, I believe, to allow for fullness. And uh, let's see, I got some close up pushers coming. That's the front. I, I added the title after I took the photograph because, you know, I be that way sometimes. I be that way. That's the side. And uh, let's see, zooming in and out. I guess I'll show you the side twice. I don't know. That would be the back prolly. Thank you, Molly. And there's a close up of the closure. Now, list of ingredients below, as well as links to the aforementioned people videos inside. There's my little label. Napkin journal, because it's what it is. Volume one, because I'm real I'm sure I'm going to need more than one. So, um, I guess we're going to wrap it up. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Happy art, y'all.